population of a small town in central Florida has shown a linear decline in the years from 1992 to the year 2000. In 1992, the population was 44,200 people. In 2000, it was 40,120 people. Write a linear equation expressing the population of the town P as a function of T, where T is a number of years since 1992. Often, a linear function is given in the form of f of x equals mx plus b, or f of x equals b plus mx, or x is the input variable, m equals the slope, which is the constant rate of change, and b is the vertical intercept, which is also the initial or starting amount. But because we want a function p of t, our equation will be in the form of p of t equals, let's use this form here, so we'd have b plus mt, because the input variable is t, not x. And now let's write the given information as ordered pairs, where because t is equal to the number of years since 1992, and the population in 1992 was 44,200, the ordered pair would be 0, 44,200. Again, this is because t is a number of years after 1992, and each ordered pair would be in the form of t, comma, p of t. And then because the population was 40,120 in the year 2000, and the year 2000 is eight years after 1992, the ordered pair for this information would be 8, comma, 40,120. If we ever have a difficult time determining t, we can always take the desired year and subtract the base year. 2000 minus 1982 does give us 8. And now we'll determine the value of b and the value of m. Again, b is the initial or starting amount, and because t is a number of years since 1992, the population in 1992 does give us the value of b. So b is equal to 44,200 people. But to determine m, which is the constant rate of change, we'll have to use the two ordered pairs and determine the change in the population divided by the change in the years. So for this situation, m is equal to the change in the population divided by the change in the years. So to find this change, we'll take the values from the second ordered pair and subtract the values from the first ordered pair. So the slope m is equal to 40,120 minus 44,200 divided by 8 minus 0. So simplifying, we get negative 4,080 divided by 8, which equals negative 510, which means m, the constant rate of change, is equal to negative 510 and the units would be people per year. So because the rate of change is negative, this is telling us that the population is decreasing by a rate of 510 people per year. And now we have the information we need in order to write our equation for P of T. We now know that P of T is equal to 44,200. Instead of writing plus negative 510T, Let's just write minus 510t. So this is the answer to part A. And for part B, we're told if the town is still experiencing a linear decline, what will the population be in the year 2004? So we're not going to use 2004 for t, because remember, t equals 0 represents 1992. To determine the value of t for the year 2004, we need to determine how many years after 1992 is 2004. An easy way to do this is to take the desired year of 2004 and subtract the base year of 1992, and this difference equals 12, which means to predict the population in 2004, we need to find the function value p of 12. So p of 12 is equal to 44,200 minus 510 times 12. So going back to the calculator, 44,200 minus 510 times 12 
is equal to 38,080. And the units here would be people. So if the town is experiencing a linear decline, the prediction for the population in the year 2004 is 38,080 people. I hope you found this helpful.